Hey, Annie. You got your paycheck right here. Screw the paycheck. I want some answers. Why won't you go out with me? I'll give you my paycheck if you lower your voice by a lot. <laughs> Look, Gordon, we have fun together. We, we can talk for hours. We both like french fries with mayonnaise and, and, and clown paintings, but not clowns so much. And if we could have dinner with one person in history, living or dead, we both said we would do it at Denny's and have pancakes. <laughs> you like me. Why won't you go out with me? Annie, what do you, what do you want from me? I like you. Well, then what? You wanna know why I said no? Because I'm much better at this part. The getting to know you, make you laugh part. It's the actual dating where it all kind of falls apart for me. You wanna go out with me, basically what you can expect, besides the flop sweat, <laughs> are moments of uncomfortable silence, panicky phone calls asking how I'm doing, sending inappropriate gifts, then trying to intercept them before they get to your door. <laughs> That sound like fun? You want a piece of that magic, huh? I look forward to it. Saturday? Pancakes at Denny's? I'll tell Jesus. I'll tell Dean Martin. You know, you see a really hot girl with a so so guy. You're gonna understand how that happens. I gotta be honest, this is a little weird for me. I mean, uh, we're friends and, and, and we work together and now we're on a date. All I think to talk about is work stuff. Like that new drainage system behind the bar, which is pretty great because I worked like three shifts the other day and my shoes were totally dry. You smell really good. Gordon, are you nervous? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. What, are you a cop? <laughs> Oh my god, look at Christmas tree lot! And at Christmas time! Wow, what are the odds of that, huh? Oh no, we should stop. Let's get Stephen and Bess a Christmas tree. They really need one and they're too busy to get one themselves. It'll be really fun, don't you think? I, I, I guess if I hadn't made reservations at a great little Italian restaurant, it's incredibly hard to get into. Yeah, even then, not so much. Well, there's plenty of time, we can totally do both. It'll be romantic. Uh, you know, that might work on a lot of guys. I, what do you know? It works on me, too. Okay. I see it. Back up. Back up. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. Santa Claus. How often does an opportunity like that come up? Who cares about a stupid movie? I do. I made plans for us tonight, Annie. I wanted our first date to be memorable. Of course, I wanted our last first date to be memorable, too, so hey. Oh, and that was my fault. Well, let me think. Yes? You know what your problem is, Gordon? You, you have to plan everything. You have no idea how to be spontaneous. Uh, that's not the point. God, Annie, you're like one of those birds that get distracted by bright, shiny objects. <laughs> what is that? That's like a seagull? Or a crow? Well, anyway, that's what you are. You're a seagull. Or a crow. So I'm impulsive. You know, a lot of guys happen to like that about me. A lot of guys happen to be lying to you. <laughs> They think that crappy pull is just what they gotta put up with to be with you. That's not true. People put up with my crap for a lot of reasons. <laughs> but if that's too much for you, then maybe we should just be friends. Yeah, whatever. Okay, whatever. And you know what? I lied about you being a good Santa. When a kid tells you what he wants for Christmas, he expects a little bit more than, Hey, good luck with that. <laughs> All right, Gordon, I think it's pretty crappy of you to... What's going on here? What does it look like? Well, it looks like Lady and the Tramp are about to sit down to a plate of spaghetti. 
Well, actually, it's frozen lasagna, and I consider myself more of a vagabond. Uh, otherwise, right on the money. So, so, what do you think? It's planned for me, and spontaneous for you. Wow, Gordon. I don't see any way I can possibly wreck this. So I did good. Because, like I said, I'm not good at the dating part. Especially with girls like you. Usually, I only dream of girls like you, and frankly, in my dreams, there isn't a whole lot of dating. Well, what do you say? Third first date's a charm? Yeah, but is it memorable? Yeah, it's good. It's memorable. I don't know. She's a perfect freaking girl! She's a perfect girl!